working with the, so my computer's functioning today. I don't need it, but oh my goodness, what's going on out there in a big bad world? I just had the amp plugged in and uh, let's play with the WAP steel. Let's see if I can make some sounds out of it. Tim's here with his dad, they're hiding in the background. He might find a bass part to play. See, this is the problem I got with this app right now. It's not necessarily in the input jack. Yeah. Your cable? Cable's brand new. Yeah. It's, that sw it's, the sp it's this pull bright pre switch. You also need to get uh, these kind of cables for that. find some scales on this now I'm a little bit embarrassed I haven't been playing with this instrument and I thought I assigned a name to her but um, um they take on it they take on a name as you play them you know going to take some time but through the confidence i found with what i've been playing lately on the guitar yeah you know i feel comfortable jumping on this in front of people yeah. you know to try yeah. it you know what i mean yeah sometimes you like to do things bb king played in the closet for five years i didn't know that yes really BB yes King amazing too oh my god yes yeah. yes it took him five years before he was confident I, to go out and play in yeah. public yeah. And he just slips a little of them blues in there. He's play economy style, he says. Yeah. You know, save a little. Save a little. That way you can wow them. Because you don't want to oversensitize it yeah. with anything. And it goes back to some of the things I've been offering people to think about. Joe Vandermoen, hey, Joe, you got to see this morning show and share it out there at Coopersville as a tribute to uh, Rose Wiersma, our band teacher. And a reflection of the newspaper article I wrote, and how the lack of school media coverage, uh, and a bunch. Oh yeah, it's a special show. You gotta see it. And I gossip too about Matt Hopwood and Sandy. Yes, I had Ball commenting on their post this morning. It really made my morning. Hats off to all you guys out there, Coopersville, especially if you got manure on your boots. <laughs>
goes in your lap. Yeah. yeah. Now I have a lap. Now I don't have a lap. Ha uh ha. -huh. Who did that bit? Gallagher. Oh my goodness. Let's play some more. It's more about the finger picking with the steel guitar than it is a regular pick. You gotta be. Sinatra was sneaking in with that Boots song. Remember that? Didn't they do that? You could do that on steel guitar. It is in D, isn't it? Thank you. 
see it. Yes, I'm taking over the fentanyl market. Yes, I am. Because I'm the Pied Piper, that's right. I'm modern day Pied Piper. Yes, I'm going to drive the rats away from the village. Just protect the children. Yes. Who's going appear, uh, interfering with the great powerful eyes? Oh. Decline. Decline. Everybody. 
everybody knows I'm doing the show, okay? If you know me and you're a friend of mine, you know I'm live on Facebook right now, and I will return your call when it's at my convenience. Everybody, for, for a year and a half, everybody's done their little things that they can do to get in the way of me doing my show. Nobody likes my show. I lost all kinds of friends between not drinking and doing this show. I paint my nails. Yeah. Yeah, I was fixing your car. Yeah, so you could get to work and make your money, pay your bills. Yeah, I was the guy that did all that. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I was, uh, I had a... It was a message from my broadcaster. It's a silent partner. Ha <laughs> ha! AD, I hope your ears are ringing. Happy Halloween, sweetie pie. I was just talking about you, dear. I'm here with uh, with uh, Tim and then uh, undercover uh, agent that uh, we have in our ploy amongst our crew members. Yeah, from Mutiny Control. So... Anyway, we're on to some very big things. AD, I hope you got to watch some of that. I was just goofing off a little bit, but I just was lucky enough to have opportunities for some company, and I was doing a show. Tim wanted to do a quick show so we could goof off with our lap steel that we just was playing with. So, yes, I'm going to be working on the lap steel and uh, playing it very soon a lot. Hey, Tim and Hidden Agent, she says. Hello, AD. So nice to see you, A.D. We were, I've been, I'm actually talking about you all morning, more or less, off and on. It's wonderful to see you. I hope There's everybody's doing crystal. good. You just got on. Magic crystal. Oh, uh, right here. Magic crystal right here. Yeah. Right here's the magic crystal. Yes. Mm-hmm. So anyway, yeah, I was just fiddling around, and uh, now I'm not. Yeah, but I did a great show. Yeah, replay it, AD. It's a good one. Um, but this morning's show was very special. Uh, I did a tribute to Mrs. Weir's, well, Mrs. Rose Weir's, and there's another shout out to my Coopersville High School uh, associates. Um, if anybody knows any of our teachers, please get a hold of any of them that may know of me, Zachary Polk, Zachary Musselman, Zeke, and. Um, let them know I'm thinking about them. Have them come check up on their student and see where I am at on their little greasy little trail of the freaking rat race of life. Yes. And I'll have you know, do you know how rats find a trail? Oh, you guys want to know an interesting fact? Yes. Mice and rats. Me being the Pied Piper, of course. Privy to this knowledge and understanding. Mice and rats see rats. They know the trail real well. You know why, A.D.? A.D., you're going to love it. You're going to love it, A.D. They all know the trail very well. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, because it smells like piss. That's right. It smells just like piss. You know why? Because it is piss. Yes, rats and mice, they leave a little trail of urine wherever they go. It's like a finer way around. Yes, they do. That's a fact, A.D. I knew you'd love it. Yeah, what did you guys think about that little fact? I did not I, know I did that. that. He did. I, I did, did not. That. So, I got validation from my special agent. Yeah. yeah anyway. Cool. Yeah. So, anyway, a little factoid. And, again, uh, tats off to hit salute, tribute to Mrs. Rose Wiersma. Um, our band teacher in uh, Coopersville High School had a huge impact on me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, that's where the rat and the snapper are completely, completely different. Snappers have their own stink. Yeah, they don't identify themselves by stink. It's more about the muck they're in. Yes, the muck they love. Yes, that's where the moss on their back comes up and confuses the frog, who's very wise. The frog is very wise. Yes, the frog, very wise, always alarming you, letting you know when the pond of life is, in fact, knee deep. We got frogs so that you, yeah, so that you can have your choice to go to the deeper end of the pond where life is good and the waters are nice and clear and cool. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, Miss Peggy and Kermit. Miss Peggy and Kermit. They never be asked those dirty snappers. Mm. Yeah. Miss Peggy and Kermit never got married. You ever notice that? Yep, yeah, Miss Peggy always wanted to be with old, lowly, easy to push around Kermit. Yeah, you know why? 
Because she was a capitalist. <laughs> yep. All she was concerned about was selling her pork belly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And Kermit, <laughs> Kermit, wise, wise, <laughs> tiny Kermit, very wise. He knew that a life of pork bellies would just lead him to become lost in the cracks of society, where his life wouldn't matter. You need a cup of tea. Yeah. Like, finish your show off with, and that's my cup of tea for today. Take yeah, a sip. and that's <laughs> my cup of tea. Oh, no, and that's my little paper. Or, oh, I've got so many parables. Oh, that's such know. a good idea, Jack. I love that. Yeah, and that's my little piece of the back of the Bible to roll the doobie with. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! Oh, man, that's a good one. <laughs> what our dress up at? Oh, tonight is Halloween. Where's beautiful Lauren Shea Shea? Oh, I don't Halloween. know. I don't know. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren, yeah. Is, um, Lauren is missing an action. Uh, wherever she's probably chasing a cat. Yeah, she's got a trouble. She's got a problem cat. Yeah, a disruptor cat. Yeah, like they did in the 60s, planting the disruptors. MC5 is suspect. MC5, yes, I read their book, and I know Adam Brooks. Ooh, I made a little rhyme for this Yes, you did. Your poet yeah. did know it. I was a poet. I was a poet. Yeah. Welcome to Facebook. Facebook, to me, is nothing more than a fucking bathroom. It is. It's the bathroom with all the graffiti. Yep, and you're just yep. looking at the graffiti while you're standing there with your freaking penis yep. in your hand. Taking a piss, well, reading all the bullshit on the walls, the whatever that just has to be heard. A lot of the bathrooms. With nothing that, to say. That I go in, uh, there's usually boogers on the wall. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I'm like, I was saving those there to see just how dusty the building is. I do. That's my way to gauge whether the friggin' filter needs to be changed by oh the HVAC God, system. By the size of the booger and the it's, dust I collect. Oh, dude, it's terrible. You know, when I was a finished carpenter, they also doubled as wood filler in some choice customers' homes. Yeah, it's home of the Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just being I'm just being silly. Now I'm wasting time because I'm speaking nonsense and gibberish and losing my intellectual crowd. But I know AD loves it. When I have to paint houses, I find crusty boogers on the wall all oh, on the all the time on the walls. That's gross. Yeah, oh I stayed in. A, oh, I got a true story. I was in a jail cell one time. This one time I was in a jail cell. Yeah, and I'm laying there on a mat, and I'm rolled up, got my back to the door, and I rolled over, and I'm reading a book, and I'm looking at the wall, and the wall's got these little splotches on the paint. Cement block wall, of course, yeah. but it's got the paint. Well, there's these splotches right about middle of the bunk on the wall. Look like egg yolk. Yeah, and it was, and I noticed it. And keep in mind, I got to clean this room. You know, when the mop bucket comes, the first thing you do is clean the fucking cell. You know what I mean, top yeah. to bottom? Yeah. Well, here I am, coming to find out, the guy who was there before me was sitting there laying there, you know, having his way with himself. Yeah, spraying it all over the wall like when a cat pisses on your fucking boots. Ugh. Yeah, backs right up to it and pisses all over your boots. So you know it's brand new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh that's the kind God. of man I'm surrounded by with in society. Yeah, those kind. The kind that squirt their semen on the, and paint the wall with it and leave it there for somebody else to deal with in life. Yeah. Raise their kids for them, etc., etc., etc. The list goes on. All because everybody's brainwashed by television and the media. Yes, in my investigations, I'm revealing these clues. And all the questions that need to be asked are laid right out there before any, any blinking eye. Yeah, a little cream on the walls. Well, you know, A.D., in his defense, in his defense, and as a, and as a professional drywall finisher, um, it's nice to cream up the mod a little when you're doing the finish. Oh like, my god! Hey, I, this couldn't even be better if it was so scripted. I'm just making all this up. Do you, do you like cream pies? Depends. <laughs> Am I first or last? <laughs> <laughs> Simultaneous. Simultaneous. <laughs> oh my goodness! Suddenly, I think I need to go wash the dog. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's getting too much, and it's Sunday, everybody. So let's tone it down a little bit. The church isn't out. Yeah, we need a larger audience for the rest of the show. No Let's serious. come back later at like 9 o'clock. There you go. I like the preacher's daughter. Oh, oh man, I tell you what, if you if you ever have the opportunity, I don't know if I'd call it an opportunity or not, but to get hooked up with a preacher's daughter, hang on, because it's going to be one hell of a ride, literally. 
in every way you can not even understand yet. Yeah. You want to go down a rabbit hole in life, Dorothy's, you know, Wizard of Oz and, and Alice's Wonderland and all that shit. You're hooked up with a preacher's daughter. Might as well just go right to the freaking dollhouse and hook up with the first girl walking in with a bag full of pennies. Yeah. Catholic girls. Yeah. I was in a dollhouse one time. Under investigation, this one time. <laughs> this one time in a dollhouse? Yeah. They wouldn't hand me the pipe. Everybody's got a fist. It smelled great, though. Everybody's got a fist full of crack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is a house that's being monitored by the police too. Right. So I'm in there smiling my ass off for the camera, of course. Right. And fist full of crack and all these dope fiends, nobody will pass me a pipe. These motherfuckers. Nobody passed me a pipe. I got to hit a pipe once just long enough to put my dope on it for the next guy to get, you know. The whole yeah, oh anybody who knows knows. So anyway, I ended up saying, fuck it. I look at a trash can and there's some chicken bones in there, of course. What dope house isn't complete without a bag, I'll bag for chicken bones. So I bag out a leg. <laughs> Don't you love my humor? This is great. So I dig out a leg bone, you know, and I take the pencil from behind my ear because I always have a pencil or pen. Oh, everybody, everybody worthy to be a team member, your team of life, your garden of life, your crew of life, your ship of life. Yes, and your notepad and a pencil or something to write with, turkey pool pen, and a bottle of that prison tattoo ink they use for the World Trade Center's burning, and that lovely brickwork celebrating the 33rd degree Masons. Yes, and that clearly identifying prison number. Yes, that ink with a little bit of respect in the bottom. You get it out with a turkey pool pen. If they don't have the pen, the ink, and the pad, get rid of them entirely, even if it's a family member. Anyway, there's so much to say in so little time. I suddenly feel like a beer. Near beer. Yes, a nice cold old Milwaukee near beer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, AD. Uh, AD really is just. Uh, you know, I met AD. Uh, you, told, you told me a lot I, about We AD. sat down together. I think I was more excited than she was. Man, I want to I was. I, I was like a little kid, wasn't I, AD? I want to meet her. Yeah, it was very thrilling. It was like, you know, going on the demon drop or a roller coaster. It was a very wow. uh, exciting thing, you know. I mean, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like a, a, well, it's like any relationship, you know, the anticipation, the build up, you meet somebody, and then there's a long courting thing, and then there's finally some kind of a consummation of some sort in a relationship, where you go on the first day, or you get the first kiss, or whatever, well, it was a lot like that, you know, the thrill and the butterflies and everything. It's kind of, I don't know, I'm, I think that's a pretty good way to explain that's it. That's a good way to explain it. But yeah, AD says, yeah, you were so nervous. I was, A.D. I was a nervous wreck. Zach Polk was nervous? Yeah. Nuh-uh. Yeah, I was tongue-tied. Are you getting, are you blushing? Man, yeah, Jack. Are you bad. blushing? Man, Jack. I'll stop. Anyway, yeah, A.D. is wonderful. Huge supporter. She loves the music. Tone it down with the politics. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't care for that. And neither do I, but I'm only doing it because somebody has to. But she says, story times are always the best with Mad Zach. I never tone it down. I love chaos and madness, she says. Hell yeah. But she's the one that gave me the beautiful uh, Jedevin, uh, Lev, uh, oh, Lev, yeah, it's a yeah. Lev tapestry. Yeah. There's a lot of meaning and symbolism behind it. And the lovely, beautiful crystals and some lovely uh, rose quartz and some other very special rocks were some very special gifts that she gave me because she truly loves me as a person. That's awesome. And I love her too. And, and she is a huge, huge inspiration for me to keep doing the show. That's awesome. Yeah, so I just I want everybody to know about AD. Adoration. So I, I love, love her very much. Anyway, I said enough. I gotta go. Peace, love. You know I care. Dare to be different. Stand out away from the crowd, and be yourself. Yes. Come see me. We will find something special. All right. Enough of that. Uh.